Well, as you know, we can't control the stock price, but we've been focused on building a long-term business and we continue to execute against that strategy. We're really excited about the significant increase in our margins this quarter with gross margins at 34% due to the really strong unit economics of our subscription business. And as you said, high growth in subscribers of 78% year over year and revenue up 66% year over year. But there does seem to be this focus on a path to profitability and whether that's going to ultimately be delayed, is it? Well, we uh, talked about how one of the major components of our path to profitability is capital light acquisition models for our rental product, our inventory. And that grew to 56% of our rental product acquisition in 2021, which is up from 2020 and up significantly from 2019. So our consignment model, as an example, um, we also talked about the fact that all of our consignment brands are coming back in 2022. And all of those brands are increasing their unit penetration with us by 60%. Right. So that's really how we grow towards um, cash flow profitability. What are you seeing in terms of this new variant um, concerns about Delta that, that persist and how, how that's impacting the business? Yeah, so we've kind of seen this story before with Delta variant. We were really pleased with our growth in Q2 and Q3 as Delta variant spread and peaked throughout the U.S. We have not seen any impact of the new variant yet. And we've been really pleased that our subscriber growth year to date in the first three quarters of the year was up 113%. So I think it really shows the resiliency of our business model in a year where COVID is still impacting the full year. We're certainly not back to normalized behaviors, but our business continues to grow quarter over quarter. And part of the bet, though, I think for, for a lot of the investors is that when the world is back or as we're getting back, there's going to be this sort of peacocking moment where lots of people are going to go out and want to wear lots of different clothing. Are you seeing that? And how do you think that manifests itself over the next year? Yeah, we're already seeing, even though we're not as engaged socially yet, we're certainly not back in the office, we're not celebrating as much as we did pre-pandemic, we're already seeing that our apparel interests have changed. So women are focused on self-expression in a way that I've never seen before with almost a decade in the industry. They are um, wanting to wear more color, more print, more boldness, more daring styles. And that is fantastic for our business because the closet in the cloud is really about self-expression. It allows you to experiment without buyer's remorse. So right. if this is the level of self-expression we have in 2021, I think that it is a great sign for when the world does do a bit more reopening in 2022 and 2023, an excellent tailwind for our business. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.